Good day, and thank you for joining us in another MYOB Advanced Training video. In this video, we will have an overview of working with inventory and how to add and release a receipt. In MYOB Advanced, inventory transactions are usually recorded on sales and purchasing documents, and then processed through to customer invoices and supplier bills. In MYOB Advanced, you will see that there are five types of inventory transactions. You have receipts, where you would usually increase your stock quantities by receipting a purchase receipt. Issues. Inventory issues are generated in the process of shipment confirmation, but can also be created directly in inventory. Adjustments. This is used to update the quantity of stock items in the warehouse and to update cost for items. Transfers. This records the movement of stock items between locations within a warehouse or between warehouses. And Kit Assembly. Here you can update the quantities of kits that were assembled and items that were used as kit components. Let's have a look at adding and releasing a receipt. As mentioned, receipts are used to record the arrival of quantity for stock items to the inventory. In this training video, we will increase one of our stock items in the Auckland warehouse. In your MYOB advanced system, navigate to Inventory, Transactions and click on Receipts. Click on the Add New Record icon that will navigate you to the Receipts form. Make sure to enter your date and on the Transaction Details tab, click on Add a New Row. Choose your inventory item. Select your warehouse and the location in your warehouse. Enter the quantity you are receiving and the unit cost. Once you're done with your new receipt, click on Release on the Form Toolbar. Releasing the receipt will update the stock quantities on the Stock Item Settings. If you click on the inventory hyperlink, this will navigate you to the stock record. If you navigate to the warehouse details tab, you will see that the quantity on hand for the new warehouse has been updated when the receipt was released. And this has brought us to the end of updating and releasing receipts in NYOB Advanced. Please join us in our next video where we will look at issues, adjustments and transfers in the inventory module. Thank you for watching.